Scientific and engineering applications often require analyzing and modifying images encoded in many different formats. A powerful library to do so in Python is Pillow. In this video, I use Pillow to manipulate images from Mars and give you just a slightly taste of what is possible with this library. I will use the Jupyter Notebook since it's a very convenient way to write code, run it, and quickly see the result on the screen. However, the code here should also work with any other IDE. First, we need to import the required packages. Let's now set the URL for the image of the Mars landscape and download it by sending a HTTP request to the JPL server. The result comes as a binary data. Payload is not quite set up to accept this kind of object, so we make a temporary file in memory and pass that to Payload's image constructor. I'm calling this image right because it was taken with the right stereo camera. Python recognizes the Pelo image and displaces for us. However, we should resize it so it's a little bit more manageable. We can do this with the resize method of the Pelo image object to specify a new size. Notice that this camera has a fish eye lens, so it would be nice to remove the wrapping. To do this properly, it will require a careful study of the distortion. However, we can do a quick job by doing a quarter of transformation. We cut the trapezoid swatch in the image, and we pull it back to a rectangle. Such a transformation is very easy in Pelo. We call the transformation method of the image. We paste the final size, the particular transformation the way after, in this case, quad or quadrilateral, the XY corners of the source quadrilateral, in this case, a trapezoid, and we also tell Pelo what kind of resampling we would like. Here it is, not perfect, but better. The fact that we have left and right stereocopic images is very suggestive. We can make one of those anaglyph images that appears to be three-dimensional when viewed with colored lens glasses. Anaglyphs are made by encoding each eye's image using filters of different colors, for instance, red and cyan. Let's try that with Pell. First, we need to download the left camera image. We substitute FRB with FLB in the URL to obtain the left image. We compose a request get method, the extraction of the content the creation of the BIOCO object, and finally, the Pelo image constructor. I'm going to copy the code above to resize and rewrap the image, and I need to replace a few rights with left. You can see this image is slightly different than the right one. Next, we use Pelo colorize method to add a red tint to the left image and a cyan tint to the right image. In terms of red, green, blue level, red is 255, 0, 0. Cyan is 0, 255, 255. Let's have a look. We now use the Pelo image plan method to mix the two images. The 0 to 5 implies that we blend them with equal weight. Very good. Perhaps a little too dark, which increase the brightness. We do so by first creating a brightness object from the Pelo Image Enhanced module, and then apply the enhancement. Here we go. If you have red science glasses, then see if you can perceive the 3D effect. And if it looks wrong, then turn the glasses around Sometimes the colors get swapped. 
I think it's rather impressive that we were able to make an anaglyph with so little code. I hope this was helpful, or at least informative. Cheers.